Well, today we're talking about skin cancer, okay? And, you know, a decade ago, advanced melanoma diagnosis often meant a death sentence, okay? But that is not the case anymore. And here with the advances on uh, advanced melanoma and joining us with those details is the director of Cancer Immunotherapeutic Center at UPMC, uh, Hillman Cancer Center and the University of Pittsburgh, Dr. Jason Luke and the CEO of Melanoma Research Foundation, Kylie Lapira. Okay, let's start with Dr. Jason Luke. What is advanced melanoma and how prevalent is it and who is most commonly affected? Yeah, so thanks so much for the introduction and the opportunity to speak today. Jason Luke here. I'm a cancer doctor taking care of patients with melanoma, also a researcher and consultant to many companies, including Bristol Myers Squibb. And to your question about melanoma, melanoma is a form of skin cancer that's most commonly associated with sun damage from ionizing radiation. And more than 70,000 people are diagnosed each year with melanoma most of them with early stage melanoma, but unfortunately about eight to 10,000 people every year develop melanoma that spreads in the body or becomes metastatic. And that's where we start to think about trying to treat the melanoma with medicines. Uh, and there's been a lot of progress over the past 10 years or so with the development of immunotherapies and more recently, the combination of multiple immunotherapies or dual immunotherapies, particularly this new medicine called Opdualag, which will be very exciting to talk about. Okay, let's talk about immunotherapy and how it's changed uh, the treatment of advanced melanoma over the past decade. So dating back about a decade, melanoma was one of the cancers that made cancer bad. But what we've realized is that many patients, if not most, have a natural immune response against the melanoma, but aren't able to clear the melanoma. And that's where immunotherapy comes in with medicines trying to release this natural immune response to attack the cancer. So this dual immunotherapy, Opdualag, takes the approach of blocking two proteins at once with two different medicines. One of them is called PD-1, and the other is called LAG-3. And it's not so important that listeners might remember that, but to remember that we're bringing to bear two immunotherapies with the administration of one medicine. And what we've seen from clinical trials is that can result in more than a doubling of the time for the average patient that the melanoma will be under control. And some patients can even have very long lasting effects to control the melanoma for an undefined period of time. So it's a very exciting time in the treatment of melanoma with new options and new immunotherapies being developed. All right, yeah, let's talk more about this uh, advanced melanoma treatment with Kylie Lapira. Uh, and Kylie, why is this an important advancement for patients? So great to be here, especially during Melanoma Awareness Month, where we at the Melanoma Research Foundation encourage everyone to hashtag get naked, which means to check their own skin and to see a board certified dermatologist to get their skin checked. So, you know. The MRF is a national independent nonprofit focused on melanoma, where our mission is to eradicate melanoma by accelerating medical research while educating to and advocating for the melanoma community. And that education is what you're giving your listeners today. Um, we're very grateful to BMS for their support and the many other companies like them that support the mission of the MRF. And to touch on your question about why this is so important, well, we do know that diagnosis rates are rising. In fact, many people missed their annual dermatology exam because of COVID. And in a recent study, we found that 33,000 people in the United States potentially had a melanoma that was missed. So it's really critical that people see their dermatologist and, and get the treatment they need. You know, in terms of this new treatment option, what it does for patients who have metastatic melanoma or melanoma that is spread to other parts of the body, it creates hope. We know that our current treatment options don't work for everyone. Um, some people do not respond. So with a new option that really gives patients and their loved ones another tool in the toolbox that they can access and use. All right. Well, I want to thank you both for being on the show. And where can viewers and listeners go for more information? Great question, Mike. They can visit the Melanoma Research Foundation website. We have a lot of resources for patients and caregivers. That's melanoma.org. And if they want to find specifically information on this new treatment option, they should visit optilag.com. 
Okay, thank you once again. So there is help out there for you. And yes, cutting edge technology making a difference there. But make that doctor appointment. And for more on this, make sure you head to firstcoastliving.net.